I fight because it's an escape. The feeling of being in the ring is the most amazing feeling ever. Muay Thai is my outlet. Muay Thai has given me confidence. It's given me the ability to control my destiny and my fate. And you like that control. I love that control. Coral Carnicella is a world champion Muay Thai fighter. At age 18, she's one of the top ranked 112 pounders in the US. We met at the gym two years ago, and I quickly became her main sparring partner. Being a former pro fighter myself, I was glad to help her. In October, she started letting me document her training camp leading up to this fight, a fight where she was considered by many to be a huge underdog against a top-ranked opponent. One, one, three, two. Muay Thai is referred to as the art of eight limbs. Kicks, punches, knees, and elbow strikes are allowed. It's a national sport in Thailand and can often result in a knockout. Unlike MMA, there's no ground fighting. She has the it factor that makes her really special. And the it factor is the ability to draw attention from people maybe outside of the sport of Muay Thai. When I fight, I feel like I'm not really there. I'm like in a dream. You kind of like are on the outside looking in. And I think it has a lot to do with living in the moment. My body is what's doing it. It's not my brain, really. It's a very surreal feeling. She captivates an audience to watch her, well, not just because she's 18 years old. She is a good knockout artist. She comes to fight. Since turning 17 and entering in the adult division, Corals remained undefeated, while fighting more experienced, older opponents and winning all of the recognized amateur Muay Thai tournament titles over the last two years. I always say that I didn't choose Muay Thai, Muay Thai chose me, because there was really, there was no reason for me to want to do it. We really don't know what made Coral want to do kickboxing. It just was something that she always asked us to do and we laughed it off. We didn't think that she was serious, but she just kept persisting. From age five to 10, cheerleading was Coral's sport. That all changed when her mom finally took her to a Muay Thai gym. She started liking Muay Thai so much that she decided to just quit the cheerleading and focus just on Muay Thai when she was 11. Coral trained for years with crew Allen Bowan Tamachak until joining Asa Tenpao's Florida Kickboxing Academy in West Palm Beach, Florida. Ten Pao later took over as her main trainer after Crew Allen's retirement. As soon as FKA opened and I had the opportunity to go every day, it was what I wanted to do. I wake up thinking about it. I fall asleep thinking about it. I mean, I, I even walk around thinking about it. I think about things I need to work on. I watch my fight videos when I'm bored. It's just what I think about. It's. It's my obsession. <laughs> the life of a fighter can be described as a never ending roller coaster. The culmination sometimes resulting in your arm getting raised, a feeling of pure glory. But the road to the ring is a grind, full of repetition, sacrifice, and countless hours of mental, physical, and emotional strife. The worst part of the sport is cutting weight the worst. Coral loses eight to 12 pounds over a six week period to make the 112 pound contracted weight. She trains three to five hours a day and runs three to eight miles every morning. As soon as I start dieting, I immediately just don't want to be messed with. I don't want people asking me about my weight and how, oh, what are you eating right now? Just lettuce, and I'm like. <sighs> so it makes you cranky. Yeah. If you think about it, why do most people stray from their diet? And they can't handle it. Sometimes I get obsessed with like watching people eat, or like, you know, like they have that Facebook page, and it's like it's called Tasty, and they like make all these crazy things that, and I, I save them. Like I'm gonna make them when I'm done with my bike camp. I never do, but I save them. They're all saved on my phone. That is her biggest mental grind, that, that she wants to go in. It, when her friends invite her to go get ice cream, she knows that she's just gonna have to say no. You feel like you have no energy. 
and you don't want to get hit by anybody. Diet, conditioning, drilling, and pad work are a big part of the preparation, but sparring is where it all comes together in the gym. Muay Thai is an individual sport, but it does take a team. You need at least one training partner that's gonna push you in sparring. One of the most amazing things about sparring Mariana and my coach Asa is that they can pick up on all of my weaknesses because they're so experienced, they can destroy me in like four punches. It's very awesome because I'm able to fix things that if I go up against an experienced fighter, they won't be able to find. It's given me a lot of confidence in my fights. None of them hit as hard as her. So I know that initial punch, I'm like, that's nothing. Sparring her. <laughs> Once both fighters make weight, they usually have 24 hours to rehydrate and eat before the next day's bout. Fight day's nerve wracking for me. I don't know, it's like, I'm so excited and I can't wait to get in there. And you gotta sit around and wait. The whole Carnicella family always comes out to support Coral on fight day. What do you think about your sister being like a Muay Thai prodigy? I think it's pretty badass. She's a savage. <laughs> do you get nervous? Yeah, I do. Before the fight, like right now. And like once I sit down, like see her warming up, I feel comfortable. While Coral's mom is her rock day to day, her dad takes over on fight day. He's taught me so much about mental toughness. He tells me before the fight that no one can beat me as long as I believe that no one can beat me. And he like, he makes me really see that, that it's just another person standing in front of me. That's my job is to instill the mental toughness in her. It's a joy for me. I love to see her out there. I love that she can protect herself. The confidence she has in herself, and she's, she's very focused. I don't really think of my opponents as another human. What they are to me, like a dark object, they're the things standing in the way of getting what I want. I start to picture them as like a black hole that like wants to suck me in and take my success. It helps when I'm fighting because I don't feel as bad about hurting them. One, one, three, two. Oh! 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 With Coral's knockout, it was almost a sense of her muscle memory going. She's done this a million times in the gym and it was very basic. One, two, kick. As she was going through the fight, that's one of her tricks. So she puts it in there and it came out with the knockout. It's such an amazing feeling. Like you're standing in that opposite corner and you're looking at her laying there and you're thinking, all my hard work just paid off. And I, I don't have an ounce of guilt. But I worked harder than her and I'm, I'm cherishing the moment. Like you feel bad for knocking her out, but you're so like, your, your adrenaline's going and you hate the person you're fighting at the moment. So you're like so happy and so like overwhelmed. You're trying to seem respectful but you don't care about them at the moment. Like, you're, that's the whole point. That's why we're in there. Right before your fight, at the end of that weight cut, you're like at your lowest point. And one day later, you're at your highest point in life. I just have a school and I can train. That's basically my life. I don't, I don't date. I don't even like mess with guys. Like, they try to come up to me and I just walk right past them. <laughs> I sacrifice everything, but I, I love it so much. And this feeling is just, it's so amazing. People judge me for my looks because I don't really look like what a typical fighter should look like. The girls I fight, they usually do look really manly and scary and they might seem intimidating, but we're both, hopefully, we're both women and um, we weighed in at the same weight. It's not that bad. They're, they can't be that strong. <laughs> when I go into the gym and I see these little girls, I hope that I can inspire them. Even if it's not with Muay Thai, I want them to be successful in anything they do. And I feel like me showing my success through Muay Thai will help inspire them later on. My daughters both want to be Muay Thai champions, just like Coral. I watch Coral's fight, and I think that she does beautiful work. She inspires me, so I just see her working every day, and it makes me want to train as hard as she does. Muay Thai in the U.S. is not something financially lucrative. It is a way of life in Thailand. In America, there's not very much mainstream media. 
The most you get from it is off the UFC and they just briefly speak about a style that is being used in MMA, which is the Muay Thai portion. MMA, I wouldn't say never, but right now Muay Thai is my passion. If I wanted to go pro, there is no money in it. They, um, I've seen a lot of pro fighters, they don't make any money. It becomes a very lonely sport because we don't get the recognition that most athletes get. Uh, we work just as hard. A lot of people don't understand why we decide to put our bodies on the line for something that there's no financial gain for. It does seem a little crazy, but uh, Muay Thai is an art and most artistic things that you do. There's not too much money into it. You do it more out of love and you keep sculpting your abilities in the ring and showcasing what you've picked up. And that's the beauty in it. That's the real gain from Muay Thai. It's about a passion. It's, it's about a drive to want to be the best in something that you love. It, it has nothing to do with the fame that you might get because in reality, you won't, unless you're in this little community of Muay Thai people. But the glory is within yourself, and if you can find it within yourself, then it's worth it.